It's Thursday and I cannot believe it's not even 5 o'clock. Well, it's really close. It's 4.58 and it's freaking dark outside. I just pulled up to my facial appointment and I'm like 15 minutes early. So I figured I'd get on and vlog. Today was Thursday, obviously. And it worked per usual. I didn't have time to do cardio or workout today. So I'm thinking today will be my off day. I had a couple meetings and work was just super busy and then I went over to Blair's to work there for a couple of hours because she had a dryer be delivered or whatever so I had to <laughs> wait there for it and then I cannot get comfortable. It keeps going in and out of focus. Um, there we go. So I worked there for a couple hours and then came home, showered. So I'm showered for the night. I like to shower and be ready for bed for my facial so then my facial stuff can stay on like all night so I sleep in it and I don't have to like shower and steam it off and stuff. I need a facial so freaking bad. I have so much hormonal acne happening like I've mentioned many times I've stopped birth control quite a few months back and my face has now gone back to the deep end and it's really really bad against my hairline which luckily I wear a hat a lot but I don't think it like helps the fact that it's happening at my hairline and my chin area which it's dark so you can't really see but you can see and I have like a million across my hairline so I'm really excited to see her today she does a fantastic job and she helped me the last time I got off birth control for cruise um try to get my skin back I feel like there's not a whole lot you can do for hormonal acne because it's like other things but it does help to have good skincare and I see her once a month to try to get everything back on track I am gonna ask her like if I need to change any products this is so out of focus but it is what it is I'm going to ask her if I need to change like any products I'm doing to maybe shift what we are treating but I think what I'm using is still really good I still like it I just breaking out really bad so I'm excited to see her I'll put her information in the description box below I put it in there a lot so if you ever watch my videos and wonder who I go to I've sent quite a few friends here too um they love her so make it a part of your routine and take care of your skin I say that every time I say I'm going to get a facial but it is so so important I've seen her now for at least five years um and I would never go back and say it was like unnecessary like this is necessary this is a self-care night I do it once a month you can do it way more than that you can do it way less but I feel like once a month it is worth the cost and the price to take care of your skin and just have someone tell you what to do um I do buy products through her I do have my Amazon store link below too in the description where some of them are um linked those are the products I have been using but I do buy them from her but you can't buy them on Amazon so up to you but if you come see her, just buy them here. They're very convenient. Um, the Eight Greens Whip Moisturizer, if you buy anything, that is one thing I recommend. It's amazing and I will never turn back, hopefully. Hopefully she never tells me I don't need to use that anymore. Um, as it's quite literally my favorite thing. Scott got cruise from daycare and I actually saw them when we were driving out of our little street he was pulling in so I got to see him and he gave me a kiss and said he kept saying mommy turn around turn around he wanted me to go back home so that was really cute just texted Scott because Scott's Christmas gift showed up at the house no his birthday gift so Scott's birthday is in January we don't typically do Christmas for each other or we haven't since having cruise because we just focus everything on cruise and there's just we don't need anything we always buy things we need um, as it comes so we don't like I don't know we just don't do Christmas and Scott's birthday is so close to Christmas that I I possibly can't do both <laughs> I just really can't so I bought him something on Black Friday for his birthday and I didn't know what to do where to deliver it because it's so big and like awkward and I was hoping he could it could get delivered here at my house and then I could pick it up and go hide it somewhere but I can't it came today and I cannot pick it up it's way too heavy I tried so I put a bow on it and left. And so I texted Scott just a minute ago because I noticed on our cameras it wasn't there anymore. And I was like, did you get your birthday gift? And he was like, oh, is that what it was? I just carried it into the garage and was gonna ask you. It said your name on it. I put a bow on it. Like I legit put a big bow on it. 
I don't, did you think the UPS guy put a bow on a box for me? Like, you've got to be joking. <laughs> so, I haven't heard back, but I know it's just him and Scott right now. Or Cruz and Scott right now, so who knows what Cruz is making him do. It's a workbench, and I'm excited for him to have it. I hope he likes this one, and if not, he can return it and get the one he wants. But at least, like, the idea of getting one, and he got one. He really, really, really wanted one, and I found one on sale so cheap i'll link it below it probably won't be on sale anymore but this one was so cheap on black friday i had to get it and i wanted to get one for him for his birthday so it just kind of worked out that it was black friday he just texted me back and said i saw the ribbon on it but wasn't sure i didn't open it or anything saw it was shipped to you and just put it in the garage okay well you're welcome <laughs> yesterday when i had dinner or cooked dinner we had burgers i cooked cruz extra beef so that he could have that for dinner he loves beef he likes chicken too but only when it's like taco chicken i tried to do grilled chicken and pasta the other night and he told me it was gross so that's really cool um so cruz is gonna have beef and rice and some veggies for dinner and i think i'm gonna grab scott and i chipotle and if cruz wants some chipotle i'll get him some chips or something too it's just gonna be too late for him to wait for dinner completely because it's already five o'clock what else last night cruz came home from daycare he's not feeling so hot he wanted to watch trash truck and cuddle and i thought that was kind of weird usually he wants trash truck but he like wants to play and run crazy homeboy had a 101 fever for basically all night i gave him some tylenol and he was literally back to his normal self we got to work out and he was running around like crazy he was jumping on us while we were doing abs like he was having the time of his life and I cooked dinner. After dinner, I went and took a shower. It was like 7 o'clock at this point. I gotta go into my facial in a couple minutes. Um, I went to go take a shower. And I knew it was almost time for him to take a shower. So I was finishing up and I hear him just like crying. So I go in there. Scott's giving him a bath. They're starting to. And he's like shivering. You know like when you get a fever, you're burning up, but you're freezing. So that's what he was doing. The Tylenol had definitely worn off. And he was pissed. Like so upset. He was half asleep. His eyes were just like this, shivering and so cold. And so we did a quick bath, got him dressed, and he fell asleep, cuddled into me while I was reading books. He hasn't done that since he was like, I don't know, seven months old, if that. So that was interesting. I ended up giving him some liquid Tylenol. He's been taking tablets because he thinks medicine tastes good. Like he takes an allergy pill, he chews on it every morning, and he thinks it's great. So Tylenol tablets actually work pretty well for him. But last night before bed, he was not wanting them. He told me they were gross. So I had to do liquid and I had to like shove it down his throat. He, I hate, hate, hate giving that kid medicine. But then he passed out. And I thought, oh, he'll sleep all night. He'll sleep this off. No, he did not sleep all night. He woke up, went to bed at like 7.30, which is pretty early for him, like right on the dot. And he woke up at 10.30. I went in there and he just wanted water. So I gave him water. And then he slept till about 11. I went back in there. He wanted more water. And then he told mommy night. He wanted me to lay with him. So I laid with him. And I was in there until this morning at 5.50 when he woke up. Um, all night he tossed and turned. He was a furnace at like 2 a.m. I woke up. It was like 1 a.m. I woke up and he looked at me and goes hi mommy like completely normal he was no longer a furnace he was completely normal and i was like oh my gosh like what is happening i hope this is gone but like what was that it was like eight hours of just a fever and not feeling good but no other symptoms the weirdest thing but last week this happened to wells the day before thanksgiving he had a fever for like eight hours too and then it was gone and it was completely normal so i'm like if you were contagious you were contagious before you actually had the fever like they always say the two days before is when they're the most contagious so this morning he woke up he was running around riding his bike normal and he woke up went pee in the potty multiple times he was just a normal kid so i sent him to daycare and he had a great day he was emotional today at daycare but i think it was because he was so tired he was up all night every other hour wanting to know where i was so I don't know what that was but we're definitely doing great and he's in a great mood and no fever so that's that but i'm gonna go into my facial because i always have to pee because i chug an energy drink and water before i go in and then i will see you after possibly at home after i get scott and chipotle hi baby hi hi cuties hi. look how much you guys have been having. Yeah. Yeah, sit. 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 Mommy. Hi, baby. Mm. Yeah, we read in yes. Paw Patrol. What do you think? Um. Who's that? Mommy, the kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's so sweet. Is that funny? We match. <laughs> Look, we're both Are wearing green. Wearing green? <laughs> Should I give me a kiss? <laughs> <laughs>
You want to go eat something? Oh. You want to go eat some dinner? Yes! Dinner! He didn't eat like anything. When it, oh. I asked him if he wanted dinner and he said, he said yes and then didn't eat anything. Let's go! Let's go! Carry you. These two puppies are enjoying a cozy, cloudy day while Mama works. Oh, sweet. Oh, corny Diddy. I woke you up. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night. You get to start opening a book. Okay. Find the book that says one on it. Just one. We get to do one every night. Every other night. You gonna open it? Uh, the feet crossed for me. Hottest little shower possible. I have cramps so bad, which is a blessing and a curse, obviously. Um, but starting my girl time is a step closer to some tests I have to get done and maybe baby number two eventually sometime. But we've got some things to do beforehand which I'll discuss in a different vlog, but it's Friday. Scott is putting Cruz down, which from the looks of it, it looks like Cruz is putting Scott down because Cruz is like on his head moving around and I'm pretty sure Scott's asleep in the corner. So that'll be, I'll have to text Scott and wake him up if he's not gonna wake up from that. But it's 
We just got home a little bit ago from going to Tom's work, which is Scott's dad. They did like a Santa, like a open house Santa thing. Um, so Cruz got to meet Santa this year, went a little better last year. He wouldn't even come close to Santa. This year he ran up to him, like very first thing, ran up to him and said hi. And he got a toy car and a candy cane and was so happy. He was giving him high fives. Him and Wells were running back and forth giving him high fives. And the moment Santa picked him up for a picture was game over. I think I vlogged a little bit of it, but it was so funny. I like didn't torture him very long. I just wanted a little cute little picture, but I didn't really get that. He was running away. So we just got home from that. We were only there for like an hour. It started at 6. We were home by 7.30. And today is actually the start of 12 Days of Christmas for Vlogmas. So thank you so much for watching Vlogmas. If you're watching this, you're watching Vlogmas. I think this is going to be like day 4 or 5 already. That's exciting. And it's day 1 of 12 Books of Christmas. So last year with Cruz, which he didn't really know last year, he was young, but he knew he was reading a book and he loved that. Um, but last year I started 12 books of Christmas and you started on December 1st and every other day up until Christmas Eve, you read a book and just wrap them up and each night they open or every other night they open a new book and you read it before bed. We read Cruz's, we read Cruz's new book three times before bed today. So. I would say it was a success and I just think it's fun. It's a little fun tradition. I only bought two new books this year because books are expensive. Last year I bought all 12 books, Christmas themed or like snow themed, mainly Christmas themed though. And it was kind of expensive, but I kind of did it, I think I did it on like close to Black Friday so things were on sale. And then this year I got two new books when I was at Target, they were on sale and I got two new ones. And then honestly, a lot of his Christmas books were downstairs because he doesn't read them every night. So I went and recycled them. I got 10 other books that he already had and I rewrapped them. And he's going to think they're new and he's going to think it's so fun. I just did my skincare. I washed my face with the acne cleanser. It's green. It's my favorite right now. And I just added this 8 Greens Youth Serum. I got it yesterday when I got a facial. Um, it says it's treat, reduce, and prevent hormonal breakouts, which I'm having. I'm having them everywhere. And to help signs of aging. So I did that, and then I did my 8 Greens Whip Moisturizer, which this is the 8 Greens Youth Serum. So it, like, goes together. She said it will pair nicely. So I'm excited about that. She, like, went in on my face, and it feels so much better today and not as, like, pissed off and red. So that is nice. I'm hoping tomorrow they're even better. I need to stop touching my face. Tonight, once Cruz goes to bed, I think we're just chilling. I want to hang out with Penny and Dougie and honestly get to bed. I have cramps so bad, like I said. So I think I'm going to brush my teeth. I need to chug some more water before bed. Yeah, it's just not going well. We're like past that window of bedtime. I'm going to start a new vlog tomorrow to do the weekend. So that's going to wrap this vlog up. Stay tuned for the next vlog. It will be the following weekend, which is tomorrow and Sunday. So thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for Vlogmas Day, whatever is next. Mm -hmm.